All right, gamers, we're going to jump right in, though. Of course, we got some brand new news for Delkin right here. Of course, with JP, we have a brand new Topo, and he looks sick and awesome. Like, holy crap. This guy looks beautiful, amazing, awesome, etc. As I make sure everything's going good, though, because holy crap, this Topo looks amazing, honestly. He looks really, really good, though. His passive seems disgusting. I've been waiting for this unit for a long time with Delkin, so I'm ready to jump right in, honestly. It's crazy, of course. And then we have, like, what? He has info, of course. We have uh, Kikapi, Kikapa, Kikapa, I can't remember his name. I call him, um, he's right here somewhere. Yeah, I call him Kato. Let's call him Kato. Kato, yeah, I call him Kato. Oh, oh yeah, Kato. He's on um, the transforming Power Rangers. Guy has pretty much a different mode, so he can, like, transform in battle. So, actually, not that's not too bad, though. That's pretty funny, honestly. We have his full info and everything, of course, for Topo, and, of course, um, Kappa, I said Kappa, I must say K, I call him K, yeah, but yeah, I'm excited though, of course, ready to go over him, thank you to Minato for all the news, thank you to Doken Official for all the news and everything, of course, with the full info, their full Twitter tweets and everything, of course, I thought it was like at 3 in the morning, I'm like, what the freak, I was gonna tap in, you know, just, like, oh yeah, I went for the unit release, but I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I got, you. I just, okay, okay, just, let's just, okay. <laughs> it's the, oh yeah, here's Topo, by the way. We got some new EZAs, of course, some new Super Battle Run stages. They're gonna come out and make a short, I'm gonna make a separate short on that. Upload that first and upload this a little later. After I get done with work, I'm not gonna get home until like 7.30 tonight, so this might be a little, little late, though. But I mean, hey, I can't help that, though, of course. Let's go over, um, the side unit first. I'll just go side unit. So he does Defenders of Justice. Um, let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, so he does Defender of Justice. I'll call him, um, Kato. Oh, uh, yeah, Kato. Uh, he does end up, on not pron pronouncing it right, but yeah, let's just jump right in. So he does Defender of Justice, key 3, all sets up 130. His attack effect, 12 key, raises the attack for one turn. Uh, raises defense up for one turn. Supreme damage, steals super attack. His passive does key 3, attack defense of 300, amazing. On the first, third, fifth, and seventh, and ninth turns from the start of a battle, at the start of a battle, at the start of the battle, at, yeah, start of the battle. Change STR to AGL key spheres. Launch two additional attacks, which uh, have a uh, high chance of coming a super attack, high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks. Defense up 30% per AGL key sphere attained, so he's a nuker. Ultimize up 300%. On the, this is a different part of passive right here. You can the dots. Thank you to Minato for, Minato for pointing that out. On the second, fourth, sixth, and eighth turn. So all the, e okay, all the even, all the odds numbers. So even numbers. Odd number is six different in 10th turns from the start of battle at the start of a, at the start of a, at the start of battle at the start of battle to the AGO to SCL key sphere has great chance of addition, doing additional attack additional super attack with a great chance of performing a crit and attack plus 30% per key sphere attained up time back to 100% pretty much what he did before just with different key spheres and with all the different even at odd numbers he's different and unique I like this though I like this Attack defense of 33% over a super attack from the 7th turn onwards from the first appearance. Change to AGO, key spheres to STR, change tech, um, to tech only once. Change, change AGO and STR types to tech key spheres only once. And change tech defense up 300%. Protect if you're attained. His links are speedy retribution, shock and speed, hero of justice, signature pose, terminal power, um, um, fierce battle. Yeah, his link sets aren't like the best up. I mean, I, I kind of expected that. His categories are defenses of justice, which is good for Topo. He's getting that update as well. So yeah, get another skill leader for that category. I mean, I could probably use it honestly. That blends up with a little bit of Universal Survival Saga. So yeah, yeah, but Beast on there, <laughs> Universal Survival Saga. As well, as much well, someone's probably gonna do it anyway. Um, Defenders of Justice, Universal Survival Saga, or USS. Special pose, tournament participants, transformation boost, accelerated battle. Not too bad though, honestly. First category isn't that bad. Like I said, it could be better, but I mean, hey, you do what you. It, it's it's just this is the age we live in. But his passive seems unique. He seems different. I like what he can do, honestly, though. He's going to be a fun unit, though. I know because, you know, all the even numbers and all the odd numbers, he does something a little bit different. But it's pretty much the same thing. Just, you know, all even numbers, all odd numbers. So, every, like, first turn, second turn, third turn. Like, every turn is doing something a little bit different for his attack. And I do like that. Though. I like that uniqueness in him. And I love people like, oh, he sucks day one. Oh, my gosh. But, like I said, he'll probably be a fun unit to use. I feel like Vegeta's like that too, like he's a typical Dragon Fest for Saiyan Day, but then, you know, the base form, then we go Super Saiyan, you can kind of go have fun with him. The same goes for AGL Bardock, like a lot of people slacked on him too, like, oh, his passive is bleh, oh, this guy sucks. I mean, like I said, Link sets, like I said, isn't the best, those categories are good, but I mean, it, it, it doesn't really matter to me anyway. Anyway, I, people are to get used out of this, people got to find a way to get used out of this, with the categories, Link and stuff like that, of course, for Universe of all, like all the support it has, all the great things it has, Defender, Defender of Justice, he's going to have a place, he's going to have a place somewhere so yeah 
of course, on the topo, of course, the main unit himself, the main feast of the God Destruction himself. So his, before he transforms to God Destruction, he has special posts on turn pit participants, key three, all sets of 170, plus additional all sets of 30% for defenses of judges, speed traveling warriors, and found drum card, not bad, not bad. His top key, uh, great exact defense of four in turn, supreme damage, immense damage. His passive, holy crap, he does a lot. Um, yeah, he does a lot of holy crap. So he does. He has, his own, he has his own injury animation, which is good. Reduces damage received. Um, it says plays injury animation only once. Reduces damage received by 11%. Of course, makes sense in Universe 11. That's, a little, that's also another good buff for the category. For the rest of the battle, a guard gets guard all attacks for three turns from the start of battle. If there's another two or more special flank warrior category or defense, um, defender of justice category allies attack on the start of a turn. I started the start of the character's attack in turn, which shouldn't be too hard, honestly. It looks like Defenders of Justice and Patrol Warriors are getting a little bit buff from this, so I mean, that's good for him. A lot of people right now are theorizing the physical Golden Freeze that could be getting Awakening, which would make sense with this. I would love he is from that moment when he's fighting Topo, so that's another good, e good easy defender right there, so I'm happy about that. Uh, attack defense of 200%, that's typical right there. Uh, attack was 100, 150% when performing a super attack. Reduces damage received by 20%, changes int orbs to, um, int orbs to rainbow orbs when HP is 50% or above, which that, that, you'll see that though. But she'll pose Defender of Justice category, allies take one key, attack defense up, um, 30%. Oh, he's kind of like, um, a little bit of, he, he reminds me a lot of, um, um, heroes from last year with Vegito, Lumen Breakers was in for Vegito. Yeah, he feels like that a little bit, just up some upgraded stuff, honestly. Yeah, he, he's gonna do, he's gonna do good. Uh, defense up at 200%, guard gets all attacks and performs additional defense of 50% within the same turn when it's specific an attack. As the first attacker on the turn, attack defense up 100% when performing a super attack as the second attacker and or second or third attacker on the turn. Okay, not too bad. Links are um, Supreme Warrior, Death Tough as Nail, Shocking Speed, Hero of Justice, Signature Pose, Dreadmare Power, Fierce Battle. His active skill, of course, can be activated um, starting for the first turn from the start of battle if there's another special pose of defender justice ally uh, attacking the same turn, or from turn six at the start of battle only once he transforms. So uh, that shouldn't be too hard. Like I say, look like he's mainly focusing on defender of justice and special pose, which shouldn't be that hard, honestly, with all the Jirens, you know, even easy L or easy A Jiren. Um, like, you know, the support Topo, the in support Topo, uh, the, the free to play Kakao, um, or defeated by Universe 11 team, like, um, it, they're easy. Like I said, you have a lot of good support on there. Like I said, it feels limited for Universe 11, though. But for him, though, like I said, with some Universe of Valva Saga, Power and Luck, um, like I said, he, he can do he can do some good stuff, though, but it's something like he relies a little bit too much. Not relies, but it looks like he's relying on Defenders of Justice and, I want to say, uh, Special Post pretty much kind of allies to help him out, though. So I feel like that's going to probably maybe a downfall because that's gonna be not too reliant on the team, but in general, I think it's going to be, um, it's good though, like I said, you're good about the categories, you're good about the teams right and everything. But in general though, like I said, um, it's something that's probably only good be as two teams right there, sadly. Um, you can probably make some, have some fun, but also like I said, I mean, you kind of want to make some U vs. 11 in there, which they are pretty much in there as well. Like I said, it's kind of confusing, like, I might, I might be just overthinking it though, like Universe 11, um, Dungeons of Justice. I think it's not a Universe 11 lead, but I guess, you know, that would too much, so. But for Special Bozo, that's good, that I need that buff. Turn participants, I mean, um, I don't know. It's just like it's it's all over the place right now with them. So I'm just like, am I gonna think over? Am I might just be over thinking it though? Like he's good for what he can do. Honestly, for all the stuff he can do, he's good. Like I said, Defenders of Justice will probably blend with Universe of Valor Saga a little bit. Uh, maybe some superhero. He'll probably honestly be maybe some superhero. Um, and of course, like I said, uh, special pose can probably help out too a little bit. Special help blend it with superhero. We can best with Gamma One and Two. That got bad though. Like I say, he, he feel like he'll be on a good fun team. I might just worth thinking it. I feel like double will be fun to use. Of course, when he goes to his god destruction form, um, he does his 12 key changes. Great the raise attack, attack for one turn, defense for one turn, immense damage. Key, you know, his passive does key three, attack defense of 300%, attack plus 250% when attacking, defense of 100% when receiving an attack. <laughs> Crazy. Changes int, um, int keys first, um, rainbow keys first. Guard gets, of course, all attacks. He's all doing more of his by the way. You can tell from the dots. That's curry. He does a lot. He's crazy. Uh, reduces the damage received by 80%. It receives damage, receives damage rate minus 8% with each attack received. More, less, um, more than 60%. I mean, which makes sense. It's double edged sword. Uh, for one turn for the first appearance, nullifies key blast. Okay, that's cool. He has a little key blast animation. That's good. Which always makes sense, of course. Target, um, at the character's, um, 
target the, this character and from the next turn onward, I can know if I key blast um, attacks like at this character. So pretty much he know the big thing he know about key blast for at least like you know first from his first appearance for one turn. So as long as key blasting or spamming key dicta. Like I said, half the time that doesn't even kick in though. So I mean. It's kind of hard to say though, but of course, active can be activated. So, for the sixth turn, from the start of battle only once, temporarily, greatly reduces attack for one turn. Always will be damage and before it's equipped for the rest of the battle. Nice, that's good. His links, I think, now I think it changed up a little bit because he has Supreme Warrior, Devendale, Shocking Speed, Salt Support, Godly Power, Tournament of Power, Fierce Battles, Categories, Universal Fall Saga, One of God's Final Trump Card, Special Pose, Universal Eleven, Special Space Shuffling Warriors, Master Evolution, Triple Purchase, and Super Bosses. Oh, he has own Super Bosses. I was mainly kind of villains, but I mean, hey, he'll probably be useful there too. Um, I don't know. Universe of Oz Saga, Room of Gods will probably be fun for him. Maybe found Trump card. I can see a bunch of balls on there. Universe Eleven, but you're having war match. Oh, yeah, I'll see his categories. I'll see for the team of the categories he's on. He might help out a lot though, but like I said, he is kind of tied to just Defenders of Justice and special pose. Though, but like I said, Gammas. Um, I think it's Beast on there. I think it's Beast is on there too. Room of Gods, Jiren. I see he has a lot of good. Potential teams. I feel like it might not be a lot though, but I kind of go the double edged sword. Like he's great. Like Tobo is amazing for what he could do and everything. That's good. Another good dog of He feels like an LR on it. Like for all the stuff he could do, he feels like an LR. And of course, um, K right here. Of course, the Power Ranger. He actually is really good too. He's unique and different. I'm not. I don't know. I'm just hard. It's like Tobo is really, really good. Like for what he can do, he does a lot. And he's really good. All the stuff he can do is amazing. Categories, like I said, Defender of Justice, Special Pose, Gammas, Beast. Probably, I'm, 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 he might not be on there. I'm just thinking of that. Like I said, just a lot of good choices you can do with them, though. It's, I don't know. It's so much you can probably do with them, though. Like, so much potential. Like, I have so many ideas in my head, though. But that's pretty much it for the video, though, today, though, of course. But yeah, honestly, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Like, he's good. He can do a lot. But also, like I said, it's like, man, he just so much. Just I don't know. It's just so much you can do. Which is good though, because you do like harder events coming out. We do need more powerful units like this. We need more, like same day. We need this. We need Frieza. Like more events with more stuff doing. Uh, maybe Goku Black on. He might be. He he honestly he's he's good. He can buy a to. Also, like I said, this year honestly for Goku Black, they've been doing really really good. Honestly, I'm I'm happy. I'm proud of it. But yeah, like I said, it's just so much for Topo. Like it's just he's good. Like he's I think he's really good. Honestly, for what you can do categories wise, whatever. Throw him out that. I don't care. He's really, really good. Him and um, K right here. Power Rangers guy. Toon. I call him Toon Rami because he looks like Toon anyway. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything I want to kind of cover and go today. Honestly, I'm, I'm happy with Topo. I'm happy with this. But yeah, see you guys there though. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Great love. Okay, though. Make sure to stay safe. Watch your hands. Come on. So, if you're going out, but I'm going to wear a mask on toilet paper. Or you do give it if you can. Go outside to subscribe to some copy. I'm sure my first and dear crystals are very cool. Where it goes out. Awesome. What you can think about all this stuff, of course. Let you hate it again. Very simple, very easy. Like I said, though, today. Topo's good, though. I like I get, I get my A. Plus. I don't care what category team he's on. He's going to do good. Something goes from Power Rangers here. Toon. Power Ranger tune. But yeah. See you guys later, Logan, though. Peace out.